myself Vidya Sagar as a biology teacher of class 11th and 12th. Today I am going to explain about anatomy of dipod leaf and monopod leaf. Here it is a diagram of dipod leaf and here it is also known as a dorsi ventral leaf. That means they have an upper surface as well as lower surface. The upper surface is known as an axial surface and the lower surface is known as abaxial surface. In this anatomy, we are going to see three parts that is epidermis, mesophyll cell and vascular bundle. This mesophyll cell is divided into two parts that is palisade which is elongated and spongy mesophyll cell which is in spherical cell. This is the vascular bundle which is surrounded by bundle C and in between this vascular bundle there is a xylem as well as phloem. As you know that xylem helps in water transport and minerals while this phloem is helpful in food transport in whole plant body. Then these are the dot structures we saw a chloroplast and in chloroplast there is a green pigment that is known as chlorophyll. Now these are the stoma which is a cavity that is known as subatomic cavity and from this pore there is a change of gases take place in leaf as a plant body. Our next part is monopod leaf. In monopod leaf there is a, a modification which we have to know that is bully form cells. How it is very different because at the water stress condition by the help of bully form cell this leaf will cur curl down and it will prevent water loss by curling their leaf surface. Now in monocot leaf there is isopyletral term is used. This isopyletral means it will be only one type of mesophyll cell will be present in this anatomy. That is only spongy type of cell is seen here. Now these are scattered from they are the large number of phloem is there as well as xylem cell are seen here. This xylem help in water transport as we, as we have known and this phloem is food transportation surface and here as we know that this adaxial epidermis is the upper part of this epidermal part and while in adaxial this is the lower part of this. Then one cell is there that this different cell we shows that is scan diameter cell which is in dead condition which help in rigidity as well as there is a some functional which is used with this bully form cell. Now as we compare from monocot and dicot this monocot leaf is a very special characteristic feature that is bully form cell and bully form cell is only present in monocot leaf. And here in both surface that is adaxial as well as abaxial surface stomata is there while in dicot only large number of stomata is present in abaxial sur surface that is known as lower epidermal part. Now if we compare both monocot in monocot leaf and dicot leaf there is a difference in both type of anatomy.